Unlocking language skills, mastering, be able to, for expressing ability. Hello there, language learners. Welcome back to our ongoing series on mastering modal verbs. In this episode, we're going to focus on an important phrase that can express ability, be able to. Are you ready to expand your English skills? Let's get started. The phrase, be able to, is a useful tool for expressing ability in English. It's similar to, can, and, could, but it's more flexible in terms of tense usage. It can be used in various tenses, present, past, and future. Let's check out some examples. Present, I am able to swim. I can swim. Past, she was able to finish her work on time yesterday. She could finish her work on time yesterday. Future, they will be able to attend the meeting next week. So, when do we use, be able to? Well, it can be used in a few different situations. Let's explore them. When you want to talk about an ability that someone has now, use, be able to, in the present tense. For example, I am able to cook Italian food. When you want to discuss an ability someone had in the past, use, be able to, in the past tense. For example, when she was a child, she was able to play the piano. To talk about future abilities, use, be able to, in the future tense. For example, I will be able to speak Spanish fluently after this course. Although, be able to, can, and, could, can sometimes be used interchangeably, there are situations where, be able to, is preferred. Be able to, is used in instances where, can, and, could, would sound awkward or grammatically incorrect, especially when it comes to the future tense and perfect tenses. For example, incorrect, I will can go to the party. Correct, I will be able to go to the party. Similarly, be able to, is often used in perfect tenses. I have been able to learn so much through these lessons. And there you have it. The phrase, be able to, is a flexible and useful tool for expressing ability in English. It's a bit more versatile than, can, and, could, especially when you're dealing with future and perfect tenses. Keep practicing, as the best way to master, be able to, is by using it regularly in your conversations and writing. Thanks for joining us today, and we hope this video has been helpful. Until next time, keep up the great work and keep exploring English.